everybody welcome back to the channel this is part two of how i reach my thousand subscribers and as promised i'm going to go through a little bit of the equipment that i use what i started using and where i'm at now two and a half years later and ash wants in the house all right i'm going to start off by saying I necessarily do not believe you need thousands of dollars worth of equipment to get a YouTube channel started. It's just not true. So I personally started my YouTube channel back in 2020 with nothing more than a phone, which I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you probably have in your pockets right now or are watching this video on. Now this is an older model phone. It's an iPhone XR. It still does 4K video or 1080p. I think that's just sufficient quality for any YouTube videos. Personally, myself, I rarely ever videotape in 4K. And not because I don't want to, it's just more or less, it doesn't make much of a difference when you're watching it on a screen this big on a telephone or a pad. 4K videos are very, very large format. Not quite sure the technology is there yet for fast 4K rendering, unless you spend thousands of dollars on a computer. Like I said, I first started off with just my iPhone XR and all I did is I went to our local dollar store and I was able to find this little guy right here. And I had this from a previous little camera, just a cheap little tiny tripod. And this just threads onto there like so. And once that's threaded on, I was just able to hook my phone in like this, set up my phone wherever I wanted it at the time, here, there. And that's how I was filming myself, believe it or not. Now, another thing I did have already from many, many years ago, I had a GoPro Hero 2. Now, this thing only records in 1080. And the 1080, like I said, was just fine for my channel. I didn't need anything bigger or better than that. And it also had a couple of little attachments. So I could also mount this onto the tripod with, uh, I think it was this thing right here. Thread that on there. So anything that I was doing uh, inside of a fender well or where I didn't want my phone to be or in a dirty little spot, I would have this. Now the problem with the GoPro Hero 2 back then and now, it has the worst audio in the face of the planet. Audio is a very important feature for me on my videos. I like to have good quality audio. This didn't cut it for the audio, but the phone was okay if you were close. All right, so jumping ahead probably two or three months after starting my channel, realizing that this little guy just didn't do it. So I ended up going on to Amazon and I bought this really cool little tripod. I believe it was $20 at the time. And $20 at the time was like, wow, that's a lot of money. But this thing is still around. It's still fantastic. You can wrap it around bars. You can wrap it around poles, anything you need to. And it does a really good job. It has a nice comfortable handle. And I'll put the link for this guy in the description down below. But uh, this is a definite must. All right, so moving down the YouTube timeline of my channel, probably now we're almost into it around Christmas time. We're probably seven months, eight months after I start the channel. And the question starts coming up, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? Well, I needed something that had a little bit better video quality. We decided on this cheap little model of action camera. Uh, this is a Dragon 4K. Now, I never record in 4K, like I mentioned, for the fact that I just can't edit the videos because my PC just can't handle it. So everything I record with this guy is in 2.7K. Again, the sound on this is terrible. Uh, it's good for ambient sounds like noise of tools and stuff like that. But for speech, it just doesn't cut it. And also there's an app on the phone that I could actually view the screen. Now the batteries don't last. So now I said like I'm into it now for probably eight or nine months into my channel. I now have another action cam, my original camera. And this little guy right here, which was $72 Canadian, I believe. This is actually the second one because the first one uh, had a horrible accident. All right, so now we're probably a year and a half into the timeline, I'm guessing. Uh, probably a year ago from now, I started to get accessories, GoPro accessories, so I could put them on my head, walk around with them. I had this guy, and I got myself a selfie stick for the phone because I found that always doing this. Hey guys, how's it going? Just uh, wasn't working for me. This gave me a little bit better uh, reach and stuff like that. Selfie stick. I think this was $15 on Amazon if I'm not mistaken. So uh, moving along a little further, probably six or seven months ago, I ended up getting myself this little portable light, uh, docu-light again on Amazon. A really cool little light, has nice functions, a whole bunch of different colors, does a really good job at lighting up uh, whatever you need in a little spot where you don't need a big spotlight. This little guy is fantastic. So now I'm into my channel, probably total, uh, I'm gonna say probably $280, $270. And I'm already almost two years into my channel at this point. 
All right, so this part of the video I'm recording on my phone because I have to show you the absolute game changer for my channel was this small little action cam or pocket camera from uh, DJI. It's the Pocket 2. This little sucker does 4K video, 2.7, 60 frames a second. This has the built-in stabilizer, built-in gimbal, and I'm telling you, this really changed the quality of the channel. But the glorious thing about this, not only is the camera absolutely amazing and bulletproof, is that it came with a wireless microphone. Again, total game changer when you need good quality sound. Mic just clips onto you like so. I have not looked back. It even suffered a catastrophic accident when uh, Ash kind of knocked over my tripod. And this was sitting on the tripod, so this thing fell from like four feet, hit the ground, broke the cover off the uh, end of the lens there, and I was able to glue back on. A little glitchy at times, but still works solid. Total, total game changer, the DJI uh, Pocket 2. Best investment I've made so far. All right, so now we're back to the DJI Pocket 2, filming the remainder of this video. As you can tell, or if you don't know, I am an Amazon addict. I do buy a lot of products from Amazon. I am an affiliate with Amazon, so I do have Amazon link uh, down below for some of these products that I bought. So if you want to use my links down below, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, new to the channel, I picked up a GoPro Hero 9 with a whole accessory kit, the bag, two batteries for 300 bucks. Again, total game changer for the channel. Now the GoPro Hero 9 does have its issues and I knew this when I bought it. Uh, at times the videos do fail. Very, very frustrating when it's something that you're really excited about and you think to yourself, that was a great shot. And you go back to your camera and the sucker's frozen. Always remember, update your firmware on this guy. That screen is crappy as well, but I mean, it just is what it is. It takes beautiful, beautiful video. And that's all I have to say about that. Moving down the channel timeline, other little tripods, I got myself one of those, more accessories from my phone to hold them, more GoPro accessories like clips and stuff to stick onto windshields, and one thing that I found very important after dropping my other GoPro into the water and it's sinking to the bottom was the floaty for the GoPro. When you're on the jet ski or in a boat, this is a must. So believe it or not, that is all of the equipment that this channel uses. If you want to go through the channel, go back to some of the beginning videos, you'll actually see the progression from how it went from the phone and how my audio got better, my video got better as I was picking up more and more products. So I'm going to say probably now the channel is sitting at still under $1,500 for my total, total equipment here. And the last thing that I bought uh, not too long ago was a battery bank because uh, when you're out on the go and you only have two GoPro batteries and you have another little action cam that dies within probably 30 minutes or so. These are fantastic. Again, found this on Amazon. Uh, so far so good. Fantastic. It's a little larger than I thought it was, but it is always comforting to know that if I start running out of batteries uh, when I'm on the woods or road fishing or I don't know, out snowmobiling, uh, that I do have a battery backup. And again, channel game changer. I also have miscellaneous SD cards and stuff like that that are needed for all of these cameras. Now some super exciting news for this channel. Uh, recently I just picked myself up something else. You guys ready for this? Drum roll. I picked myself up a DJI Mini 2. This is going to be another really cool addition to the channel. I never really thought I needed a drone but being where we are and the beautiful scenery I just can't tell you guys how beautiful it is out here and how fortunate we are to live where we do in Northern Ontario. And I want to share some of that scenery with you guys. So here we have it, my drone, which I've already had a couple of uh, successful test flights with it. If you go back on my channel, you'll see that uh, I do fly uh, remote control airplanes, RC airplanes. I was an instructor at a local club way back when. So I do have a considerable amount of experience with RC stuff. So my first two flights with this uh, were totally successful. It's like riding a bike. So there you have it guys. That is all the equipment that this channel uses currently. I don't see myself buying anything new uh, anywhere in the near future. Uh, I think what I have now is a really good setup. I like that the files are numbered, uh, you know, when you're downloading them into your software. Uh, it really sucks when you have a file named 156264984624658969. And then the next one is 12942468649642222. Then you pull them all into your software and you don't know which one goes where. They're totally out of the timeline. So if you guys have any questions about uh, some of this equipment that I'm using for my channel, or if you've gone through some of my videos and you have suggestions on how you think I can improve 
uh, some of my videos or some of the audio or whatever, whatever you might have. Something constructive would greatly be appreciated because as YouTube creators, we're all in this together. We all started somewhere. I started with a phone and we're here to help one another. It's a great platform. I'm really enjoying myself. I love doing these videos. I love editing the videos for you guys. And I think in the next video, uh, as a small channel with only 1200 subscribers currently, I'm going to take you guys through the software that I use and maybe show you that you don't have to spend a million dollars on very expensive software. I think my yearly subscription currently is like a hundred bucks and I love the software. I'm very proficient at it now and it goes really quickly. So if you guys like what you see, don't forget to like the video. So other people struggling to start their YouTube channel with no equipment can get this video. Uh, if you like what you see as well, why don't you hit that subscribe button, doesn't cost you a thing. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna put all the links to Amazon in the description down below here. So thank you very much guys for your time. I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time.